Hey guys, so I got a bit of a demonstration here I'm gonna make. It's uh, gonna be a comparison. See where, where flyback works best with with a uh, MOSFET or mechanical switches. I've got some really good ones here. This is a high voltage switch, DC. It comes out of a high voltage wind turbine controller. One that's rated for 250 volts continuous and uh, an over voltage protection of over 300 volts. And this switch is heavy duty. Very expensive switch too. So we're gonna start with that and I also have the the scope right here. It's just going across slowly across the screen here. So you can see when I turn the switch on. You can actually see it arcing in there. The so-called magic flyback spike that gives all the energy is in that arc. But you can see on the scope. You get some pretty nice spikes, but you know, most of them are doing nothing. I can actually get it to oscillate a bit just by using the vibrations of the switch vibrating. Get some pretty good little box spikes out of it, like that. This would be like the motor turning on. See that the top is uh, on to the coil. All right, and there's there's a large amount of copper here. There's over ten pounds of copper here. It's all wound in series. All the both ends of the wire here and I have all three wires round in series it's 14 gauge it ohms out at 1.5 ohms so there's no shortage of copper in this coil I'll tell you that and I'm putting in 16 volts Their 10 volt divisions on the scope. But you can see you're really not getting too many uh, usable box spikes. A lot of, you get some really nice ones, but a lot of them go to waste. Probably 80% of them go to waste. Let's just hook up another relay before I switch to the FET. The FET will probably blow when I do this demonstration, but it'll be worth it. So let's see what the results are for this one. This is another high voltage 30 amp. It's about the same results right now.
about the same results. Pretty close. So now let's just go to the fit. And uh, it'll be a bit of trial and error to get this one to work properly with the right resistance for the gate. So just bear with me if you can. Should be able to hear the coil ping when it's when it's turning on properly. There's a lot of resistance in those contacts that don't allow it to turn on properly. start with a higher resistance see what it does This is a moss, but this is how you get your results, guys. Anybody who says moss vets don't work for this year, crazy. You can hear the coil too when it turns on. You can actually hear it. Like, you're hearing the coil. You know, and look at those back spikes. You don't get that with a mechanical switch. Sorry, guys. But when you're using the right MOSFET, this is a 100 amp, 1500 volt MOSFET. You just don't get that, you know. It's every single time. You know, you gotta use the right scope for that. Like that hand tech can even pick that stuff up. You know, speaks for itself. Let me actually use less resistance on the input here. This one might blow the fat up. getting hot, I can feel it. You know, sure you get good spikes with the mechanical switch, but overall you're throwing a lot of that power away and flames into contacts. You know, this isn't, isn't ideal for running motors, like, and to get the frequency and the RPMs you need to actually 
do stuff with a motor, you, you can't do it. Like, like, if anything, a commutator's gonna work better than these. But a commutator has huge disadvantages because a commutator tries, like, it actually has a motoring effect because of how DC current works in metals. So, I don't know if you've ever noticed, like, with a car alternator with the slip rings, if you just hook up the, uh, give the field coil some energy and give it a rotate without anything being drawn from the stator coils, it'll have a huge amount of drag. And a lot of that is from just the commutator itself, the slip rings. Not a commutator, but the slip rings. On an alternator, and it does the same thing with a DC motor because of that motoring effect that you get when you have a DC current going through metal. You know, but hope that makes things a little clearer. I you know a lot of people disagree with this type of thing, but. That's what I found out through the years, so that's what I use. I only use stuff that works and gets results. But appreciate you guys watching and uh, bring on the comments, good and bad. Questions to you. Appreciate you guys watching, though.